People's tastes evolve, and the consumer always evolves, and the consumer never gets less intelligent. For a lot of people, they come to our shop because the coffee tastes great, but for a lot of people, it might be down to how efficient we are. We have a lot of great equipment now that allows us to brew with more consistency. The trend that I see is that uh, customers know a lot, a lot more about filter coffee. A huge amount of coffee shops now have like a batch brew, or they have an SP9, whereas previously they wouldn't. I think filter is the thing that is going to expand hugely in coffee in the next five years. So uh, we're here in our main location in Grand Canal Street. Five years ago, we used to make all our filter coffee manually. Kind of all our customers knew that it would always take a while if they wanted to order a filter. Since we got the SP9s when they came out, it's completely changed. We can make filter coffee really fast, really consistent quality, and people know they're not going to wait forever. So the drivers are always going to be, where is tea and coffee going next? The quality of your water, I mean, it's such an important ingredient. As regards the temperature, yes, that is key. Countless times I've had people to go, I did not realise that tea is supposed to be brewed at 70 degrees or 80 degrees. Hence our boiler that you can press a button and you know you're guaranteed to stand over the right temperatures. Fantastic. The trends that I've noticed with consumers is there is much more of a focus on single origin. People are interested in where the coffee comes from. So the way that I look at sourcing coffee equipment is I talk to other coffee owners and I do some research online looking at coffee blogs like Perfect Daily Grind and Coffee Geek. 